Okay, so we're making eggplant parmesan. This is everything you need right here. Eggs, tortellini or pasta, eggplant, mozzarella, breadcrumbs, and these are the instruments for the pots and pans. Um, the best way to make eggplant parmesan I found is to flash dry it first and then bake it. So flash fry it for a few minutes, uh, one or two minutes on each side, and then we're going to bake it at probably about 400 degrees for, uh, I'd say, around an hour. So this takes a little, a little time. This is one of our favorite dishes, but I mean, it's a good Sunday meal, um, especially if you guys like eggplant. Not everybody does. It's an acquired taste, but you can also use portobello mushrooms, uh, which is pretty easy. All you're going to do is just, um, just like fried chicken, uh, dip your sliced eggplant in the, in the beet egg or whatever, um, and then in the breadcrumbs in a little shallow dish. So one, two, three, right into the pan, um, which I probably should have put back there, but anyway. Um, and then you're going to flash fry it, put it in here. I put some sauce in the bottom. Slice the mozzarella, top it on the eggplant, cover it with some more sauce, and throw it in the oven, and you're good to go. Try it, it's pretty tasty. This is what I like, is the panko style Italian breadcrumbs. And we always get now the uh, pasta with the wheat and, sorry, fiber, protein, and omega-3s. So it's actually pretty healthy. Um, and if you want, you know, tortellini, of course it has cheese in it. So, try it yourself and tell me, tell me how it turns out. Oh, and I add balsamic vinegar um, just a little bit to the sauce and it gives it a nice little um, tinge in the taste. So, good luck. Okay, so we have sliced our eggplant, dipped it, and now we're getting ready to fry it. And then we're going to throw it in there. The, sk the spaghetti is done. So I like to keep some of this spray stuff handy. I'm going to need that too. Uh, probably need some cooking wine as well. Which, here we go, red wine. So um, you really can use anything to uh, fry it with. If you want, you can even add some herbs to your panko breadcrumbs, even though this one already has some. And make sure your burner is on at least medium high. Okay. So as soon as the oil's hot, which this has been on for a minute, as soon as the oil's hot, you know, just throw it right on. Like I said, we're flash frying because uh, it's not going to cook through all the way. Which really, you can use this technique for for any kind of um, you know, like chicken parmesan or whatever. So. Um, the next step is we're going to slice up the mozzarella before we bake it. Okay, this is about how cooked it needs to be when it goes into the pan. That's mozzarella on top. Next step is baking. Alright, so this is what uh, it looks like after the sauce is on top. You can do two layers if you want, but the cheese will stick to the bottom of the second layer. I like to add a little bit of red wine and balsamic vinegar. Uh, if I'm doing custom sauce, I will also um, add that to the to the sauce, meaning I'll heat up the sauce in a pan, but before I do, I'll add like that stuff to the um, garlic and onions, which I think would be a whole other episode if I was going to show you my special sauce recipe. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's it. Then you stick it in the oven, and once again, 400s. Um, for like, I don't know, 40, 40 minutes to an hour, just check it. I mean, it depends on how how much uh, softer you want that eggplant because the skin will stay tough if you don't cook it long enough. So, let's see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, uh, so our eggplant's ready. And this is after an hour in the oven at 400 degrees. So, it's a, probably a little bit more than um, some people are going to like. It really just depends on how tough you want it. This is really soft, so I hope you enjoy it.